Vermont and I looked at urban versus rural because there's been a lot of research done on urban areas. If gas prices go up, people will then take the bus more, take trains more, things like that. So I wanted to see if there was a difference uh, between urban and rural areas in Vermont and if Vermont followed that trend. Uh, there has only been one other researcher who did research on more rural areas and the effects of gas prices on public transit ridership. So uh, as I expected, I found that Chittenden County, so the green is gas prices and the pink is ridership. Uh, ridership followed gas prices. Um, when gas prices went up, ridership would go up. And I also lagged the gas price data. So when, uh, so when I lagged the data by three months, uh, it was a more significant correlation than just immediately. So, uh, which was definitely expected and a lot of research has been done into that. Um, the rural areas, only one of them showed a significant correlation between ridership and gas prices, and that was Addison County. So Addison County um, includes Middlebury, and the reason I kind of developed from this is a lot of their buses are commuter buses. When so many, and it's so easy for people to really choose uh, public transit for their commute to work uh, versus other trips. 55% of public transit trips are uh, commuting to work, so I found a really significant correlation between uh, gas prices rising and ridership rising. Um, so another really interesting thing is that rural community transportation, in 2008, they made they made ridership free, so that like really jumped, um, as you can see. So kind of my overall goal of this was to come up with a policy recommendation uh, I really feel like in urban areas there should be an increase in gas tax because people have more access to public transit and then that money should go to really support more rural areas and build rural um, public transit if possible because people in rural areas, especially in Vermont, like the Northeast Kingdom, really depend on their cars and they don't have another option. And so much research has shown that people will only walk a quarter of a mile to public transit. And while there are a lot of routes in the Northeast Kingdom and other rural areas that will go, they'll deviate half a mile to pick people up. They're not going to deviate miles away. And people live really far away from each other and far from town centers. And it's really, it really would be beneficial for Vermont and other states that have similar makeups to really increase the gas tax in urban areas and use that money to support more low-income areas and rural areas where people have less access to that. Yeah. <laughs>